Oh my God, I'm about to get hit by a bus. Jared's family vlog video. It's your girl Jazz. And today we are here in Brooklyn, New York. Yep. And we are visiting the one and only New York City Transit Museum. It is built underground in an old train station. Yep. So we are excited to see what they got going on. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, yep. turn on your bell notification, and comment, comment down, down below, below right now. That guy. Stay tuned. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. Like we said, this is the New York City uh, Museum underground. The one and only in Brooklyn, New York. So stay tuned, guys. I know you guys are gonna be amazing. You're gonna be wild. We love you. Stay tuned. So let's go. We going inside, guys. Peace out, guys. Hey, Stephanie. So, are you ready to visit the Transit Museum? Come on, it's gonna be really cool. Let's go. Okay guys, so we made it inside of the Transit Museum. As you can see, it is very big in here. This is an old train station, which is really, really cool. This is a display here that they have that's over 100 years old. This is crazy. Wow, I'm not even sure. This is it's called the windmill. It's an elevated turnstile. Also, this is like one of the very first turnstiles they made the trains this is awesome it's all oh, the chopper oh like a ticket holder yeah also this is where you get your tickets basically before they were tokens you had tickets yeah so that's pretty cool tickets Interesting. to ride oh wow right. and they actually cost a nickel a buffalo nickel guys. wow a nickel a ride wow i wish we had those prices nowadays that's crazy from july 1st of 1948 Interesting. Yeah. And the first subway system was built in 1904. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Look at the force you got to use just to get through, guys. You got to put your hip into it. Put your tokens or your coins in here. That's cool. And this tells you how many people entered the subway system. <laughs> see the numbers go up as you turn Spin it. Spin it again. Let me see. Yeah. Awesome. It actually still works, guys. Would you believe it? It costs five cents. Why does it say five cents to exit? <laughs> five cents. <laughs> exit five cents. Yeah, they charging you just to leave oh, the so station. Oh, so they charging you to enter and to exit. Oh, they oh, actually yeah. charging you to leave and come in. Oh, entrance is 10 cents. Oh. And to exit is 5 cents. That's crazy. So entrance is 10 cents? Yeah, that's awesome. Now you might as well just try to go through the exit twice. <laughs> she said just go under it. That's actually considered hopping the train. Well, yeah, obviously. What about these, guys? Look at these old turnstiles. Not old, but like fairly old but new. No? These are the new subway station turnstiles that we use. This one is pretty cool, guys. Hey, here. That one was from 1883. Well, that wasn't more back then. This one is 1920. 1969. 1925. And this is the one we use currently. It was made in 1996, but we still use it. So interesting. 
Yeah, right. We're, we're at the technology stage where we could just use our phone, smartphone, to get through the turnstiles now. Just tap and you go. It's a swipe away. I guess it's a walkthrough time here, guys. From old to new. You know on the trains, have you ever seen those doors, those rotating doors to go in and out of the train stations? Well, this is one of them. It's very old, back in the day entrance. And here is where you put your coins in order to get in. Here, I guess, is where you put your coins. This is so cool. And I guess this is supposed to turn. But it's actually locked, so we can't at the moment. But I think that this is pretty good. Cool. You don't want to pay for the train, is what you do. Uh-uh, that's breaking the law. We can't be doing that. Oh, no. I got no metric card. Oh, no. You ain't got no metric card, right? No metric card. Oh, what you no. do? So you're gonna show us how to do it in New York City. Hold on, so, hold on guys. So. Let me stand on this side. Stephanie's gonna basically show you how to hop the train in New York City no. illegally. What you do? Is and this is what you do. Oh wow, don't get hurt. Like that. Yeah, okay. yeah, and then you stay out of the train doing that. Oh you go under it like this. Yeah. And it's easy. No much part. No, that's breaking the law. Breaks the law. So Stephanie just showed y'all guys how to illegally hop the train in New York City. Just know once you do that, there will be an undercover cop with you. And you will receive a fine for $100. Okay guys, look at this. Let me show you something. These are the old different types of tokens that they used to use here in New York City. Like, I don't know if I can even remember the kind of tokens I used to use when I was growing Yo, some of them ain't even like coins. Some are just copper metal. Yeah. Look like microchips. Look even like a ring. Like a ring. It's That's not even crazy. a. Look, quarters. They got oh, it's quarters. a quarter. Wow. That's the quarter. Yeah. 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 Y
I've seen them like late night bringing trains back, you know, before, you know, in the middle of the street, like late night, you'll catch them. Oh, I don't ever see that, that's crazy. Well, I mean like one cart, like one cart at a time. Right, one cart at a time. Yeah, on a big rig or something, you know. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, it's interesting how they get them in the city as far as the trains, the boats, planes, who knows, right? Right. I mean, guys, this is just the beginning. They are, there's so much in here. Like, yeah, guys, stay tuned, really man. Like I said, we just got started in here. Hopefully, you guys enjoying this vlog. Like we said, we have so much videos coming for you guys. So many vlogs, so many pranks, so many challenges. We love you. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. To the Jeremy The seven train from Flushing, Queens. Comment down below, guys. Does anyone know what baseball team is the last stop on the seven train? Or well, used to be as a kid. You remember? Used to take that seven train to the last stop. Is that the Mets? Hudson Yards or whatever. Yeah, she just gave it away, guys. Oh, sorry, I, <laughs> I just came out. But look, guys, the, the New York City transit system had a New York City uh, graffiti cleaning crew. So this was part of that. We had the graffiti free subway station, so they used to come clean up the train. But in all reality, Graffiti is what makes New York City train. I don't know about what makes graffiti train, but one thing I can comment down I below, guys. I'm definitely born in the 80s, so comment down below if you're an 80s baby. Yes. If you know B Street, Crush Groove, yes. Break It, Break It, or oh, any of these classic movies, guys. I just want to show you something right here. This was like their loose blank sheet of loose leaf, man. Yeah. A plain white train to them was you like a become a graffiti victim, I tell you. <laughs> I mean, guys. You gotta realize it started off with just writing. This is what we want you to understand. Like, this is New York City. Like she said, it's hip hop, everything, the culture that just goes together, guys. So, they have some pictures here. Like I said, most of this is just uh, tagged graffiti with tags. But we wanna show you how the New York City stations have just evolved back in the 80s. Great dancing, uh, hip hop, people just trying to get their name in the red box. So hey guys, look, these are the shirts that they used to wear when cleaning the New York City transit systems. From May of 1989, they had these shirts. That's awesome. 100% clean t-shirt, 1989. You gotta make sure your t-shirt is clean before you walk out the door. <laughs> So guys, like I was saying, like basically what it is, is like the train just has evolved, man. As you can see here, look at this, man. It's art. It just turned from graffiti to just art. Well, look guys, when they don't need the trains anymore, they dump them in the ocean. I think this is... A home for Nemo. True. Basically. But I just think it's bad. Why do you say that? Because, I mean, it's just like polluting. What does this do for the ocean? It gives the fish a home. Creating homes. Okay, great. Well, it could be a shark bait. Shark bait. Oh, my God. Mind you, this is the A train. I mean, the A train pause. This is the 5 train. Well, East 180th. 180th. Oh, from 1991. I don't know why this guy looked familiar. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he looked familiar. I don't he kind of looks like my grandfather. <laughs> Dad, comment down below, guys. He looked like your grandfather. <laughs> Look at Governor Cromo. I'm thinking this is like Ruben. I, I want to say like the senior. <laughs> I'm not even sure. Y'all guys know who this is. Andrew Cromo's dad. So obviously he had a lot of construction and you know rebuilding the city. Here's the one train. 125th. Oh my god, look at this. We got a big train right here. Oh you walking through the carts. Uh-oh. No. I'm scared. You know, I'm what scared. What about this? We got bathrooms though. Look at him guys, it's the train conductor. Oh, you can't leave work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on lunch break. <laughs> wow. The exhibit continues, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Why are they playing dumb ways to die? Yeah, they want to 
money down. Was like posters that said the train ads. Well, these are like basically ads. Probably that was in the train. I don't know why this stands out to me, guys. All rules on the train are made to be broken. <laughs> What's going on here? New York City trolley and bus. I don't know if I've ever written a New York City trolley. Horsepower. Wow. Wow, look at this, guys. Horse and carriage. Wow, is this like one of the first transportation You know what this is giving me right now? Red Dead Redemption vibes. It says passenger tickets for Bushwick Railroad Company in Brooklyn. Dream So basically, this was um, made in 1860. This is how people used to get around in the 1800s. That's crazy. Whoa. Wow. Just looking at it like, wow. Wow. And then the day just evolved in 1885. Grand Street Cross Town Line. How big it is, guys. Yeah. Like a coach so on this wheels. This is basically like a trolley. A street trolley, yeah, not a train. I've never really seen it. Well, it got electrical. It's wow. If you haven't seen our vlog at the Rise New York, this is exactly what they talked about. Like they showed us in the beginning. In the beginning at our at Rise New York. Right. They showed us the first train station ever made, the first train car ever made. And, you know, basically the first transportation system in New York City. Right? Yeah, basically, like she said, in the Rock, New York, right when you first get in, that's what they basically right, give you the history. Movies, yeah. yeah, the underground system, how New York City was built, how, you know, the city was built, basically. It was built on blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> it's an older coach. So, basically, it was... Trolleys before trains. So they were riding literally on buses and trolleys and horse and carriage before they made the train system. Look at some of the thick cable, the electrical cords, guys. Look how thick the corals are in this. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Wow. Just imagine the amount of voltage that it can hold. And look how old it looks. It's so like. Oh, but yet still Very actually option, op, uh, functional. Operational, yeah. Wow. Pretty cool. Oh, here okay, we have the Grand Street Line. Welcome aboard, everybody. Welcome aboard. Oh, wow. Uh, only could fit two people at a time. <laughs> this was like the Lamborghini of trains back then. What? This is so cool. How small it is. Look how small it is. <laughs> it's a baby train. <laughs> <laughs> got Borough Hall. Ooh, St. John's, like a, the front of a bus. Oh, the trolley, the front of a trolley, guys. Look at how they used to look. This is awesome. Ooh, here we have another in the York City bus. Oh, this is so cool. The art in here is awesome. This bus is going to best die, everybody. <laughs> Hop aboard. This bus going to Coney Island. Oh, this looks so cool. I mean, before COVID, they used to let people in these certain buses. But when COVID hit, I guess, due to the pandemic and everything, they ended up closing them. And now it's just a display. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. Oh, it looks like Clifford the Big Red Dog. Oh, the art in here is beautiful. Look at that, guys. This is awesome. I never even really knew that there was even a New York Transit Museum. It's amazing. It 
it's a New York City bus. Look at this. This is awesome. NYC bus. Let's get on this bus. Ooh. Ooh, right here is where you get to sit and drive the bus, but obviously they don't let you because it's temporarily closed. But this is pretty cool. Oh, wow. Look, I got old bus seats in here. I guess this is basically like one of the oldest buses of New York City. This is so cool. Oh, wait a minute. It's a passenger on this bus. Yeah, duh. <laughs> oh, God, look, it's a, the engine of this New York City bus. How big it is. Wow, it's pretty cool. I guess here they tell you all the functions of the engines of these big city buses. It's awesome. Guys, look like a big gigantic typewriter. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oh, look, we got some back in the day maps in here. Wow. Oh, this is a map for Staten Island. Oh, oh wow. It's not that big, though. Pretty cool. Oh, here's Brooklyn bus routes. Oh, just take a look at this. How many bus routes are there in Brooklyn? This is crazy. Ooh, look. Ooh, here we go, guys. Wow. This is awesome. The Bronx bus route. You have Manhattan bus route. Guys, look, they have a whole bunch of trolleys here. Wow. Wow, look at some of the dates on these things. 1905, 1951, 1927, 1919. Whoa. This is so freaking cool. Wow. I mean, just to think how New York City was before my time. <laughs> this is really, really cool, guys. I really, really like this. One of the bus stops here, guys, in New York City. So basically, you can check the times here. It gives you not only the times on the buses, but it also gives you the route that the bus is gonna go. So depending if it's an express bus or a local bus, and they got the times here. I don't know if these is even accurate, guys. With technology coming out, you could just use your cell phone to track the bus now. Most of the New York City buses have GPSs on them, so. Yeah, this bus route or bus timing is from 2003. 2003, yeah. Like I said, now with technology, everyone could just use their phone to get the um, timing on the buses, so. It's amazing, guys. Look. Oh my God, I'm about to get hit by a bus. <laughs> So what are we doing? We are headed to the best part of the museum, right downstairs. So let's go. I don't think they're ready for this day. They, they got a bathroom here? I wonder if it's like really a bathroom. <laughs> you know I'm nosy. Pull that train! No! Pull <laughs> that train, son. So guys, if you guys didn't see, there actually was a bathroom and there was people in there. Oh my God. Oh my God! <laughs> okay guys, so we are headed down to the best part of the museum. 
this the best part of the museum? Because I was excited at the top, guys. I don't know. Comment down below. Are you enjoying this video so far, guys? I think the top was pretty cool, man. It gave us like a history of New York City, how the city was built, buses, trains, construction. Are you guys ready to be amazed and wild? Because I'm wild. And we actually made it to Court Street. Court Street and Union Square. Make sure you pay your tickets. Court yeah, you'll be in court. Make sure you go to court. If not, you're gonna get served. Yeah. Look at this old fashioned train, guys. This is huge. This was a Brooklyn Union train car made in 1907. Wow. 1907. Comment down below, guys. Are you that old? 1907? Were you born? What you mean? <laughs> I would have never thought to ever in my life that I would see a train car that was made in 1907. That's crazy. I want to go inside. Sure, we can go inside. They won't let us go inside. They do. Oh. Okay, guys. So look, they have this little like built up train set. This is awesome. This is cool, man. Whoever constructed this is amazing, man. God bless you, man. Wow. Look how detailed everything is, man. Whoa, I'm amazed. Like what? I would love to have something in, uh, like this in my, like, I don't know, attic, basement. I know, my right? Like a, your own your party room. <laughs> Look, guys, I put this together. I wow. paid $15 million dollars for this. This is so cool. Guys, elevated this is railroad, amazing. Basically, outdoor elevated railroad. Basically, what we still have today, which basically, is really cool. Basically, but so much upgraded. Oh, my goodness. Look at the that train. Awesome. The details, the people. The 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 cart station everything yeah, the cool. station everything this is awesome I used to do stuff like this after school in arts and crafts guys this is easy oh. you know what <laughs> wow this is awesome Just stay in school guys yeah. you could do it yes absolutely where did my daughter go Stephanie hi guys <laughs> hey guys so like I was on the train I just got off. Oh, for real? I came to meet you guys. Oh, wow. Thank you for coming. Yeah, no problem. It's oh, time. cool. Well, let's go ahead and just try and see what we can do. We got going oh, on. Yeah. We on Core Street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, come on. We're going to board Again? one of these trains. You're in my house, right? I'm tight. I'm tight. Go that way. This look like the, the hangout spot when you're on the train, man. Just chilling, catching the breeze. First of all, this is where you don't chill when you get on the train. Yes, it is. It's no, it's no not. It's through. illegal now. Oh, well. You I'm running legal. between the carts in New York City train, you catch a ticket. Oh, this is cool. This is giving me like, oh, oh, my. What year was this born? 1942? 1942? More like 1907. <laughs> Oh guys, seats. look at this. The old train ads. Oh my god, I think this is legendary. The old train ads. This is legendary. Wow. Look, you need a biscuit. <laughs> That's pretty a awesome. A biscuit. A biscuit. <laughs> oh my god, this is awesome. <laughs> That sounds funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Look guys, look at these old. The old strap hangers. Wow. They actually cool. look revised. They look 2020. They <laughs> clean and they smell like Take it off and use Yeah. Wow, look at these seats. They're right here. If, if this it's very really hard. It's a storage. Uh, it's a storage closet. Wow. Look how old this looks, guys. It's so like look wooden. At these, the chairs are very wooden. hard. They built this with plastic cups and spoons. <laughs> so basically, he was saying that you use the bell to request the stop. Okay, Stephanie. You use the bell to request the stop. I wanted to ask what this was. It seems like a, I don't know. It's giving me water sprinkler vibes, but I don't know. <laughs> like if you use this to just access the sprinkler system. Wow, this is so cool. First of all, this feels like real genuine love. Yeah, it's Reebok. They definitely laugh. upgraded this. They definitely did something. This is this. what your grandmother used yeah, before so charcoal left out. Yo, that tear you up. Yeah, wow, this is awesome. So guys, when you come, don't forget to ring the bell. Hey, what you know about that? 
Oh God, this is the seven train to Times Square here. For real? We going to Hudson Yards. The seven train. The seven train is fairly new. Well, not new, but this is not like told. They actually still use these trains. They do. Yeah, the two and the five train actually still use these lines, this type of cart. So, oh snap, look, Reggie Jackson, guys, comment down below. One of the best Yankees to ever play. Do you disagree? No. Reggie Jackson. He's the best. He's the best. And a legend. Oh, guys, comment down below if you know who this guy is. Hey, I pity Mr. the fool. Mr. T, Mr. T. <laughs> I pity I the fool. Him. What else is here, guys? Check some of these old ads out. Hey, guys, comment down below. You ever seen this in school? Only you could take a bite out of crime. Yeah. So back then, in the entrance of the train, when there was a green light, it would say that it was open all 24 hours a day. If it was oh, yellow, I if it was that. yellow, meaning the, the ticket booth was closed, but you can still enter the train station. And red meaning that it's completely closed, you cannot get in the train. Right. So that's pretty cool. I really enjoy that. I didn't know that. That's interesting. That's a nice fact, man. And a lot of times when you go in the subway, yeah, that's how you determine if they open. If y'all wonder what I'm about to do, I'm about to take my coat off. Because I want everybody to put their hands up. Because we got to get happy time. Come on, everybody. We got to get light feet. Hey. Come on, all the ladies over there say And all the people in the back. Oh, you, hey, let me see what you do. Come on. We about to get sturdy. Hey, oh, we about oh, to get sturdy. I oh. can't get sturdy. We about to get sturdy. Hey, 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 we about to get sturdy. We got to get the hat going around. Oh, yeah. Guys, if you come to New York, you have to experience a subway performance. Yes, it's also one of the best. I'm not one of them. I'm actually the one that don't tip. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get to work. I don't have time for that. Oh, guys, look at this. This thing says Flantastico. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is awesome. I love me some fun. You already know. It's oh, amazing. New York is putting its boots on. Look at the Statue of Liberty with boots on. Wow, that's awesome. Guys, make sure you check out our Statue of Liberty vlog because that was pretty dope. Wow. So, like he said, man, this is actually one of the strongest or, or you know, sturdiest built carts. So, they actually still use these, like he said, on the number lines, which is the two and the five. Right, this train was built in 1960. So, and it still holds up, man. It's like one of those uh, box Chevys from back in the day that just won't <laughs> never let you down, man. So, <laughs> so we're gonna keep it moving, guys. Stay tuned. I'm a little time, I need some water. You know, I was getting sturdy. I wanna show these guys. I wanna show you something. What? Look at this. It says, happy birthday, public housing. <laughs> Boy, if you don't. <laughs> Disrespect. <laughs> Apply for your benefits now. <laughs> From 1934 to 1984. And look at the, the picture, the people in the picture. It says, it started here, 50 years of public housing in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> it's very diverse, right? <laughs> and look at this one, guys. It just changed the whole atmosphere. 1612, this train was built. Isn't it amazing? Wow. Let's step inside and see what this wow. is. Oh, look, it got a high step, guys. Yeah, definitely, when you come, don't run, don't trip. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, you gotta definitely Whoa. jump. This is one of those throw mama from the trains, guys. Have you ever <laughs> seen that movie? Comment down below. Throw mama from the train. This was that train. So, look at this, guys. It's wow. built like a military convoy. Look, and before air conditioning, they have fans in here. That, that probably didn't work. Wow. Yo, this is built like a military convoy, man. <laughs> This thing is a this truck. This is so cool. I'm sorry, guys, but what gets me is these old ads. Yeah, These right? are super funny. Yo, if you oh guys ever God. seen any of these, or maybe you got some in your room, man. It's amazing. Ask your grandma so, or your grandpa. They might have some somewhere. They might have some stashed in them old photo albums. <laughs> Wow, this is awesome, It was very tight in here, guys. This yeah. is definitely one of the train carts you will bump somebody. So back yeah. in 1960, they definitely was getting it in as far as bumping on the train. And I, oh. True, that is very true. <laughs> but this section right here is like the VIP lounge area, no? Yep. How big it is. Oh, guys, it's I Love Lucy. I think I'm about to get sturdy in this train, too. You know why? Because oh. I got sturdy on all them trains. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh. Oh, 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 get it, get it, oh, 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Especially guys, when you're getting off the train, you gotta watch this. You gotta let somebody catch you on the drop. <laughs> oh guys, this is another train car right here. How interesting is this one? Wow. Okay. So this was made in 1948. Ooh. 1948? Reminds me of Mama Mel. Oh, dang! Oh. Mama was not born in 1948, but okay. Fire save lives. Yeah, this is giving me creepy vibes. Stop lying. Oh, look at the material on these chairs. This looks like the type of cart that they shoot horror movies on. Look, they got fans in here too. Oh, you stick your finger here, you already know it's coming off. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Oh, look, this is Gun Hill Road. 149th Street shuttle. Yo, comment down below, yeah. guys. What y'all know about Gun Hill Road, man? Yeah, what y'all know about 149? 149. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh, see here they didn't have the belts. Here they had poles where you hold on to. It's pretty cool. We definitely need the hand sanitizer. Yeah, after this one. <laughs> oh look, there's an old open and close the vents. New York City maps. Interesting. Oh, so you have to manually open and close vents. No windows. There's no open windows. Oh wow. There's no open windows here. You cannot open the window. Look guys, if you have COVID and you are struggling, it's called sandpaper throw. Oh my God! Wow! <laughs> they got Vicks for your sandpaper throat. I know they So before COVID, <laughs> then around, guy. Why he got that? What did he have on his neck? A uh, uh, cardboard box? <laughs> he got sandpaper around his neck. I know. Yo, yo, guys, this is freaking hilarious. I'm having the best time ever. This is so funny. The ads get me. And look at this. Even like, I mean, come on, back in the days, guys. It's to let you know the seats aren't for, for people, not for packages. No seat hoarding. I know, and people hoarder the seats today. Even today, guys, mm -hmm. you see people just laying down, taking a whole yeah. seat. Like they if this is their living room. Welcome to New York City, man. <laughs> well, the rude can't get any ruder. <laughs> It's another train car right here, guys. Wow. 1950. Ooh, this one going to Times Square to Willits Point. Cool. Willits For 1950, hmm. this train was made. This is the R15 car. Wow. And this train operated from 1950 to 1985. Wow. 35 years this train operated. That's pretty cool. Again, no open windows. Wow. Oh, they had the Guinness back then too. <laughs> what? Guys, I'm just fascinated with the ads. There's a lot of propaganda, man. This so, is really I don't know really if it's cool. like promotion for like the time of or just humor within the propaganda. Right. Oh, look, guys, this train's going to Pelham Bay Park, Brooklyn Bridge. Pelham Line Express. Hey, oh, that's hey, awesome. You know I see a lot of, I see a lot of like ads for like products. Ugh. Yeah. Propaganda and products. As far as like, you know, and it's crazy because it's stuff we still use. Jello, drinks. Flantastico. Flantastico. I'm gonna buy guys some flan when we get out of here, guys. She's hooked on flan flan. You already know. Guys, guys, look at these seats. Get your head started. Look, guys, before bead wax, they had. Wow, root cream, cream oil. oil. Damn, it's a shampoo. Poppy shampoo. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Oh my God. New York City high fashion. All right. Wow. The subway sun. It says Washington Square. I don't know if that's like a Washington paper. Washington Square outdoor art show. Uh, no, I'm assuming Washington Square Park, no? I don't know. <laughs> Save money on your health insurance. Guys, check the doors off. Be game. Like, would y'all prefer the doors to be like this? Or do y'all like them the way? They actually the same exact design. The only difference is it's like a... I think I like the, the doors we have now. I think because it's more like you can see better. I mean, it's kind of the same thing, but literally like you're saying, it's, it's a different style and the glass is much thicker. It's like a... Yes. Oh, guys, look at this door right here. These are the doors. You open or oh, it doesn't open. 
but look at this wow it does look like a submarine door wow this is cool Ooh, what's in here nothing can i open it nope so guys look they actually started to build windows that go out you know like the old school system oh they the turn that's awesome that's cool no, you know what? That's I, not to open the window. No, nope. it it's is. to turn the signs. No, babe, why would you have the permission? But to I'm, turn a, the I'm telling you, I think it's to turn the signs. You gonna change it to local? You might be right. You might be right. Comment down below, guys. You know I'm not always right. Comment down <laughs> I'm below. I'm not sure, but it I think it is to turn the, the signs. It might be to change the signs. So we're gonna find the tour guide and we're gonna ask them. So we're gonna <laughs> see who's right. The loser gotta buy lunch. And the winner gotta get a hundred bucks. So how about that? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Ooh, it's Stephanie, guys. We found her. She was on the the AO Express car. I got a question. Why do all these trains have poles? Have what? Poles on the train. I guess for people to hold on to. Like, you know, when you ride in the train? I can tell you what it's for because it's ready for the twerk a uh -huh. It's ready for the twerk a uh -huh. Hey. You know what? Y'all was tripping up in here. Ringley spearmint gum, guys. Gum? Oh, Ringley spearmint. Yo, I love spearmint gum. Do they even still And it used to be that? white, and, it, and now do it's they, green. Do they still? Oh, they do? All right. All right. <laughs> I don't even chew gum anymore. They make that, guys. They make that. Okay. Rock, Rockways Playland? Is this like Ride Playland? I guess. Queen's Million Dollar Amusement Park. Queen's? On the beachfront. At 98th Street, Far Rockaway. Why the beach Rockaway Beach, guys. Can you change this? Here's a map of Brooklyn. What's this for? To change the signs, my dear. Or yes, it's that's not changing. to change the signs. For yes, and There's then the one that we just saw is also for changing the signs. Changing. You might be right. I don't know. Now here, guys, the they have official latch open the windows. See? Well, this is a different train. Right, and that's what I just said, this train. She's opening compartment windows. Oh man, she's gonna open something, something gonna hop out and bite her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's test that theory. Oh, be a cocktail expert. Okay, I, I where's that? Bacardi. Oh, Bacardi. Yo, look at how the Bacardi bottles used to look back then. Oh wow. Yo, that's cray cray. That's pretty cool, guys. Look, when you got on the train, this is how you operated it. <laughs> how you got on it. <laughs> oh, man. Don't litter. <laughs> Anybody know Pete? No. Oh, what's up, Pete? How you doing? This is Pete Davidson's new job after Kanye done with him. <laughs> oh, wow. Guys, you already know, these seats look very familiar. Like, look like the seats we ride now. Awesome. Let's head to the next car. Whoa. Ooh. This is 1917. Whoa, guys, this entrance right here. Ooh, this entrance right here is big. Look how big this train car is. Hold on, babe. It's a homeless person sleeping on the train. Oh no, let's let's tap them and throw them out. Yeah, excuse me, man. Excuse me, excuse me, man. You can't sleep on the train. <laughs> Take all your garbage with you. Just go. Get on the train, homeless person. No. You better get on the train. I live on the train. No, oh, no. That can this is like, ooh. Whoa, look at the handles they have back. Dang, whoa, these are sturdy. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. You ain't going nowhere holding on to this. <laughs> whoa, this is so here. cool. Oh, and they got those big propeller fans. Yo, guys, these it's, things will chop your head off. Like magic school bus. It can turn into a boat. If you wow, this train is technically over 100 years old, you know? It's this, a submarine. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, look, they got um, Hans Manning. Look at the ivory soap, guys. Oh, cool. Is it like soap powder? Or they got soap? ivory flakes for your detergent. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> wow. This train car is huge, guys. This is crazy. Wow, what is that? Oh, submarine. I'm scared. Oh, the train is moving. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, guys. Look at this train. Wow, can you even make it in through there? Nope. 
They locked you out of the train, sir. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh, Columbia. I know. <laughs> wow. This Ooh, is look. giving me B Street vibes all day, guys. It's a pump car. Wow, it was in service from 1930s to the 1980s. Wow. Whoa. These are like water pumps. I guess due to flooding and stuff like that in the train station. Guys, we are having such a great time. If you guys are enjoying this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn your bell notification, and comment down below right now and give this video a big fat thumbs up, people. Let's go. Look, guys, a submarine. Oh. The car go to a submarine. Oh, wow. Look, they got lockers in here and all that. Word. This is where it go down at. This is the DM of cars. <laughs> the train driver. Wow. This is the DM of train. Wow. So I guess this is basically like the stuff that they used to use to like fix the trains, the pumping service system. Train. Yeah, service trains. Freight train work. Cool. So this stuff operated from 1961 to the 1990s. So this is an electric cab. Looks kind of similar to like some of the stuff they still use, but this is from 1910. Wow. Look how this looks. Never even seen nothing like this. I don't know guys, comment down below. If any of y'all have ever taken New York City Transit or the trains, MTA, have you ever seen anything like this? That rode by the station? You ever seen anything wrong. like that? This definitely looks like Hudson Yards. Right off of uh, Hunter's Point in Queens. Like, it definitely looks similar. Might be wrong, though. But it's definitely something they keep in the yards for, you know, only when they need to. Oh, this was, oper this was, this is diesel, a diesel train. It was used to operate, oh, for power. This, yes, this diesel train was used to operate power. In Even if like a train got abandoned, they'll use these trains to actually pull it through the station if they needed to. So. Oh, wow, that's cool. This is train car 5240. Doesn't say what. Okay, train car 5240. It serviced from 1972 to 2010. Yeah, it looks like a new train, a service train, a regular service train. Right. It looks like a D line. And then it says route all letter lines. Made in St. Oh. Louis. Ooh, St. Louis Car Company. Wow, that's awesome. Cool. Oh, so this will run from like Staten Island, Coney Island. Wow, this is awesome. Oh, bro, beat me in inside of the train, guys. Hi! Oh, hello! <laughs> This sort of kind of looks like the trains we still ride today. This is awesome. No, we go to jail for that. Guys, comment down below. You ever pull one of these on the train? No, you shouldn't. I would tell y'all, but I don't want to incriminate myself. <laughs> don't, you should do that. Look, it's another homeless bum here. Excuse me. Excuse me. You got to get off the train. You got to get off the train. I'm going to New York, guys. Get used to it. You see it everywhere. This is a pretty cool car, guys. Like, that's the train line. This like pretty, fairly new, man. man. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, guys, look at this car. It's what technically it's shut seven. down. I can still go in it. This was a car is, made. Is hunted. It's basically letting us know this car is hunted. It's not uh, open for access to the public. But this car was made in 1961. Oh, look at this. Let's see. Let's take a look. Even though we're not supposed to look in here. Oh, this is <laughs> Don't say hunted, that's scary. That many people dying? No! Oh, this is for Far Rockaway, 149th Street, Grand Concourse in the Bronx. Yeah. And 34th Street, Penn Station. Yeah, I know we ripped that west side of the BA. Oh, uh, you already know. You know what scares me on the trains, it's guys? These gas. It's, <laughs> it's a it's huge car. Like a real big car. Yeah, just one car. Hell yeah. Right? It's really, really big. Right. It's actually really long. It I starts, wonder if they actually eventually started to like cut down or open up the trains. Like, you know. I think they made them a little smaller. You think so? Than what they look like 
interesting. Yeah. Like, Before. was that their goal when they um, started, you know, upgrading the trains to make them bigger, smaller, more seats? More wow. Seats. And just to think, guys, this was, a, uh, this was an operating train station a long time ago. When did it shut down? I'm not really I'm gonna find that out and put it. Is it court? Street? Yes. Um, I'm gonna find that out and put that down in the link below. Cause I don't even know when was the last time that Look at these There's something suspicious going on here. Excuse me ma'am, what are you doing? Oh, you be a real suspect ma'am. What, what what are you what's going on here? What excuse me ma'am, you have to get off the train. The train's not operating at the moment. It is. Oh, look at these car windows, guys. Whoa. It's one right in front of you. And it's one over there also. Oh, they got the crispy crackers. Crispy cracker. <laughs> That's the crackers we were supposed to use in the cracker challenge. <laughs> oh, look, they sold fairy soap for five cents. Yo, look at this, guys. Comment down below. And it's crazy. Because, well, I mean, I'm not, like, highlighting it, but... Everything back in the days was illegal to carry. A lighter, a cigar, a cigarette, pipes on the station, on the cars, on the stairwells. It's unlawful. Yo, guys, you better not be carrying them pipes. <laughs> you but you know, back in the days, smoking tobacco and chewing tobacco was a real big thing. It so was like I mean, a regular thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you ride in the train, you want to feel, I guess, mellow or comfortable. So interesting that that is illegal. It's still illegal, but it wasn't allowed, you know, so. You can't open it, but it's cracked though. Campfire girls. Uh oh, keep the faith with oh, you. Oh snap! Before Papa Puff girl. Oh shoot! It was the campfire girl. Oh uh, hey Karen. Now it's the city girl. Damn, let's go. Period. This how they close the doors. Damn. Let me see. Got a hood latch. Oh guys, look! Oh, this is how they used to close the door. This Damn, is crazy. You ain't, in, you ain't in. Whoa. When they say all aboard, the they ain't playing. Yo, that's. Crazy, I'm keep scared. It says right there, keep hands away and off the doors. Oh, wow, keep hands away and off the door, what? But look how small the door looks. It actually looks small. Wow, this is awesome. This is awesome, look at this. Oh, food will win the war. Win the war, you already know. We observe meatless days. Hey. They're promoting vegan, vegetarian life. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, that's awesome. Just imagine guys like sitting on the airplane. You're responsible if it's a fire to yep. crack this. I, you thing. know I don't see these on the train anymore. I wonder if they're like maybe hmm. they already have a sprinkler system installed. Well, maybe they do, or maybe it's tucked and people don't really don't know where it is. I'm gonna try to get on the train one day and try to find it and let y'all know. They even got the snitch button here when it's an emergency. Oh my god! I'm assuming it's a press button. It push. For emergency only. <laughs> This is the conductor of old fair, I'm assuming. Yep. All doors locked. Like being in solitaire. Okay guys, so we made it into another train. Look at this sign. Mighty fine. Oh yeah. Some of that lemon pie. <laughs> you know how many miles you gotta drive for some lemon pie? <laughs> Five miles. <laughs> This is a Coney Island train, guys. This train looks very similar to the one we just left. It's like literally wow. the same car, I think, guys. Well, yes, a lot of these cars have like the same no, seats. But it's the same car. This is like the whole train. Oh, really? I didn't know that. So basically, you stand right here, you hold on, and zoom. Oh, you know what? Yo, that was crazy. This is how they used to train. Oh, I get what's happening here. What's happening? This door see. is a rotating door. So basically like when you close it, you rotate it. So yeah. yeah, and the only way for you to go in and out is to rotate it open and rotate it closed. Oh, so that's really cool. Like here, you got the handles in here. This will rotate, take a little spin like this. Yeah. Let me see what you do. Like, like here, if, you know, you have to open it so you rotate it in order to get through and then to rotate it or close it. What happens if you rotate it left or right? Well, then you're just going to be like, Whoa, in the middle of the thing. It's like a revolving door or yeah, something. Like a revolving door, baby. She's trying to move it. I and sure then we got am. the homeless guy standing there. Oh my God, get on, you got to sleep on the train. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh, I love you. So guys, if you want a free workout courtesy of the MTA, this one is perfect. It's solid, man. Woo. I need a pull-up ball like that in the house. We got those fan propellers. You got to watch your head. 
Listen, if you tall for some reason, you can't get on this tray. But don't stand next to the propeller. Look at this door. Look at this. Look how big this door is. Definitely. This door is <laughs> It's about the same, though. You, yeah, no, it is. Usually the doors we get into now. It's two doors. It's two doors. It's the same. But this, but one Just big upgraded. Door, that looks weird. Look, guys, if you ever been to Rye Beach, oh, one way yeah. 50 cent and 75 cent oh, round trip. Wow, now they charge two dollars per person. Rye Beach. Interesting. Fire prevention. Fire Campbell's fire. Soup. Help your country. Only you could prevent for it, man. Yeah. Oh, look, oh, guys, Coney Island. Up, Orchard Beach. I don't know if I've heard of this one. Jacob Reese Park. Rockaway Beach, South Beach. Interesting. Those are some of the beaches we got in the city. Wow. The keys to the kingdom, guys. A promotion for, uh, I guess, a service, church service. Cool. On Broadway, 49th Street. Oh, Just yeah. See? <laughs> oh, snap. Look, it's that homeless guy on the train again. Dang, she had every car. Oh, she got a twin sister. The lady that didn't catch the train. <laughs> Look at this car, guys. This is so like, whoa. This is whoa. This is definitely whoa. This is crazy. Just the seats in itself is like, crazy like i said guys comment down below man if you have a chance to come here with your family it's actually affordable it's pretty um decent like we said it's something you could do with your family man i think one thing about the uh the transit museum that's amazing if you bring your abuela she just trying to see anywhere <laughs> you ain't gotta worry leave abuela in the front and tell her you're gonna sweep the museum you're right you're right so guys it's a subway search game here they give you and here you have to find these certain artifacts in the trains and you write down which train you found these artifacts in. Oh, so for this real? This is pretty cool, yeah. So like we said, family activities, man. When you get a chance, bring the kids, bring grandma or whatever. Yeah, so, so they actually give something for the kids to do, man. So it gives them motive exactly. to be here. So. No! <laughs> Zero so guys, um, ticket prices to come here is $10 per adult and $5 per child. And I think they do give discounts for seniors, so make sure you check that out. Yep, like she said, man, whenever you get a chance, pull up, man. It's actually affordable and it's educational, guys. So yes. kids, you know, come with your parents and hopefully you can learn something. So like we said, we New York YouTubers and we know, stay tuned, we love you. Guys, comment down below if you know what this is used for. What? I have no idea, what are you using? It's Nothing. basically a pointer for the guy that's driving the train. So when he gets to the station, he knows he's sent it with the train. Yes. I didn't know that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Very informative. You're welcome. I've been riding the subway my whole life, guys. What? Since 1980. I'm not going to tell you the last number. <laughs> wow, people ride in the whole world. Yeah. People ride in the whole underground. Be underground, yeah. You right, you right. With the roaches and the rats. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's my thing over here, guys. That's pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie, I've heard of that it was a New York City Transit Museum, but when you from New York, this is like not something you would look to come to, man. Right. And I think that's one thing I, you know, we want to bring you guys as uh, Bronx YouTubers. We're going to try to cover every base that we can and then go back back, guys. We love you guys. We appreciate everything you're doing to support us. Yep. All of our friends, our family that watch our videos and yes, that just support us. You all. Yeah, so man, don't forget to like this video, share this video. If you like this with someone that maybe you could bring someone here. And don't forget to comment down below, guys. And give us so, a big fat thumbs up. Maybe two, maybe three, maybe ten, maybe twenty. Yeah, like I said, like this video right now, guys. We love you. Comment down below so we can reply to you. Yeah. So we know that you're part of this JLRS family squad. Hey, guys, we communicate with everybody that comments down below. Yeah, like, we're not better than anyone, guys. Nope. We're just... We're just like you. Yep. So we want to bring you this good content. And yeah. we're going to continue to do it. Whether you like it or not, ready or not, here we come, guys. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. 
Yeah. Stay tuned, Stay tuned guys. What do I do? I'm going to jail. This is a special so train. So one thing I've noticed is that a lot of these train cars have some of the same exact seating, meaning the material of the seat, the design of the seat, and a lot of these trains. But a lot of these trains also have very different characteristics. What do you, you know, mean? Like fans, different kinds of fans, different kinds of uh, poles to hold on to. You know, they have the strap belts, they have the metal poles, they have the straight poles. You know, so I think I think it's pretty cool. You know, like. For example, come in the train, some of these trains have these big propeller fans. A lot of these trains have these handles you can hold on to. And not for nothing, but still today, 2022, yeah. they have trains that still have these things like this. Well, I think they basically keep the same format and just upgrade it. I mean, right. I don't know what they see that needs to be upgraded. But I guess they take surveys and, you know, people give opinions on how to improve the subway system. Right. And don't don't get it twisted. The New York City subway system is highly funded by the state and the government. Yep. And so the taxpayer. they always find ways to improve the subway. So Absolutely. it's just not safe. Well, not safe nowadays. You know, the trains have always been very dangerous to ride. You know, as far as the people. Not necessarily the train. So, yeah. You know, so nowadays you just have to be very aware when you get on the train, when you come off the train, you're just surrounding, you know, mm -hmm. who's around you. Yeah, so don't fall asleep important. on the train. Right, never fall asleep on the train. Not yeah. a good idea. Your mission stopped. Guys, the only thing about the New York City subway system is that I hate the steps. Well, that's why they got access wheelchairs now. I don't like the steps. That's something that they actually upgraded the wheelchair system. A lot of subway stations had wheelchairs. Coins. Let me get my invisible coins. Put my coins. See? That's what happens when you don't pay. You know what? <laughs> gotta go, gotta go. <laughs> oh, it's Felipe. Felipe, man. Oh, hey, he trying to, he's saying, hey, help me out, man. No. I've been on the ground. Tunneling sand hall. Ooh, yeah, up, they right? lived on the ground. Look Dang, at that, yo, guys. Just a thing, man. It's like caves and mines. Wow, 1980. Drilling gang. <laughs> the drilling gang. Hey. <laughs> gang, gang. <laughs> this was like the first guy to ever uh, ride the subway. Yeah, see what I mean? His name is Lewis. Lewis no last great name. man in the train system. Yeah. Built by a great man. And before Dick Tracy, there was just Mr. Tracy. It's like we're underground. We're like experienced of our men some underground. What is this? Hard hats. Wow, we got canteens yep, and stuff. Like, for work. Wow. Well, Stephanie, look, this would have been your lunchbox. They hey, never invented like I got a big head, but whose head was this small? <laughs> Somebody was in this ring, I little tiny head like Stephanie. Well, you don't want to have a big head underground. <laughs> Might run into a rock. This is like tile from underground. Subway tile. Columbus Circle 59th inspection. Look how it looked like prior to it actually being functional. It's just dim and abandoned. Opening day, City Hall, 1904. Wow, everybody was probably so excited. There was a sign. I don't know if you guys saw it, but it was a fun fact of how many people actually rode the subway when they first opened it. Really? Like 19,000 people that aborted the first subway car. Oh, wow. I didn't see that, but that's crazy. Yep. We made it to the gift shop.
this place is very, very, very informative and very fun. So bring the kids, you know, explore with your family. It's awesome. Like we said, guys, this is our first time here. I mean, I can see me coming back in the future. You know, they actually have people that's assisting you to give you a key right. pointers and key details of certain trains. So, like you said, it's affordable. It's a beautiful day. Hopefully, you guys enjoy your day. We love you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. To the JRS Family Vlogs. We love you guys. Hey, we'll see y'all in the next one. Yes, sir.